All right, guys, quick follow-up on the video we made last week showing you guys how to use the, when the wheels on the car and how you check at the 12.6 and the 9.3 position of the wheel hub. So we've gone ahead and we've taken the car, taken everything apart. We got the brakes, we got the rotor, we got the caliper, we got the caliper uh, holder, the bracket thing here and everything over here. So now, before I'm gonna take off the old one, I told myself I was gonna check everything going on the way in. So doing the same thing. See, I'm at 12 and six. For sure you guys can see that movement. And at nine and three, yeah, look, see? So this wheel hub absolutely 100% is bad. You can see that little groove right in there. See, look at that. Oh yeah, 100%. It's not moving much. I can certainly hear it and I can certainly feel it. Absolutely. So this wheel hub is bad. And of course, when you put the wheel on the car, then you move it, then you really feel it. So I told myself I was gonna test this on the way in to see and now we got the new wheel hub over here we just got this from rock auto this is a replacement one we're going to put that one in and when that one's in we're going to run the same test and hopefully when we do that there's going to be absolutely zero movement on here guys all right guys so it's a quick follow-up to the other videos we made about how to check for a wheel hub bearing as you can see you know we have everything taken apart and you can see the wheel hub bearing you can see the movement in the wheel hub bearing right there it's plain and obvious it's probably only moving about a third of a millimeter at this point, but then when you put the wheel on, then it really moves as it exponentially goes on the outside. So definitely 3,500 pound car, this is, gonna, this is gonna be a problem here. But the other thing I wanna talk to you guys about is the camber on your car. The camber is when the wheel is like this, okay? So the steering wheel is like, so the, it goes like this or goes like this, depending on what it is. So if the wheel bearings are worn out on the bottom, then as you put the weight on the car, it's gonna tilt this way, and if they're worn out on the top, it's gonna tilt this way. So I've always had a problem with this side, with this car, getting the camber to be exactly in spec. So that's what happens is right now it's perfectly straight. You put the car on the ground and it's not tilting upward, it's tilting downward. That's where the movement is. So what's happening is it's tilting downward and my camber is going outward. So that's, so I've always had a problem with the camber. So if you have a problem with your camber, go ahead and look at the wheel hub. That could be what's potentially causing it as well. All right guys, so we got the hub out and this is the new hub. We already showed you guys a video with the old one was not working right. So what you want to do is you got some, we have some 100 grit sandpaper. All I'm really doing is just kind of going in the front and you see that little bit of corrosion and stuff here. You just kind of want to get a nice smooth surface both here on the outside where the hub is going to bolt in and you're going to have your dust shield and the rotor and the caliper but also on the inside see there was, there was this was caked up a lot more than what it was so you just basically take this and just kind of go in there not too much you don't want to start grinding away the aluminum right but you want to go ahead and get rid of that corrosion and get a nice smooth even surface and then what we're going to do is we take this I'm taking some gear oil you can take motor oil just some kind of grease and we're going to put some grease on the inside right here and on the outside what that does is it kind of gets you a little bit of a barrier against uh, rust and grime and corrosion so if you ever need to take the thing out of there again it's not going to get super stuck you don't have to worry about trying to use some kind of hub buster all right guys so in the previous video we showed you i had the old hub remember when i did the 12 and 6 and the 9 and 3 it was moving so now you do the 12 and 6 don't feel anything 9 and 3 if there's any movement that i might be feeling i think it's just a, i think it's just my fingers so it feels it feels tight and it feels tight I mean, to be honest with you, I think it's tight. It's always possible the tiniest bit of movement here, but I don't think so. So anyway, the new hub is on, and then we're gonna go ahead and we got the splash shield, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the brake bracket back on here with these two bolts, and then we'll put the pads, and then we'll put the caliper over it, and of course we'll put the rotor on there, and then we'll double, we'll do another check. When we do the rotor, we put the rotor on there, and then we take the lugs over there, and we put the rotor on top, and you spin the lugs and get it a little bit tight, and you kind of go with the rotor, so the rotor will be out here. So from at this point, there's no movement. Then we'll be going out here with the 14-inch rotor, and then the last thing we'll do is be the 17-inch uh, rim, and we'll be pulling out of there. Hi, guys. See the car guy. Follow up on the videos we've been making for the last week or so, and I showed you guys before, previously, how to test, you know, 12 and 6, right, and then 9 and 3. That was a wheel hub, so we went ahead and we replaced the wheel hub, and we made some videos on that showing you guys at various stages and steps and checking everything out. Now the car is done, we put it all back together, we take it for a test drive, it's got a nice smooth ride, the bumps are fine, everything's good, and we go 12 and 6, nothing, the same thing before, 9 and 3. If there's anything, there might be a tiny bit at 9 and 3, but that would actually indicate possibly something wrong with the tie rod, but there's nothing wrong with this wheel hub, that's for sure, so go 12 and 6, nah super tight I can't move it at all and nine and three is good too yep so job is done job is complete people so compare and contrast that with the previous video I showed you guys with all the movement that we had before with the bad wheel hub as opposed to the one that's been repaired and replaced and rock and roll thank you